greetings to everyone of you so in this video we are going to discuss another very very important concept from uh, machine learning that is adaptive resonance theory art it was uh, developed by carpenter and uh, grossberg in the year 1987 mainly it is uh, utilized for uh, pattern recognition and classify the cognitive data it is open to new learning that is it is adaptive without discarding the old information so that it has the property of resonance so it got the name adaptive resonance theory so learning the new concepts new learning occurs without uh, discarding or removing the old information that is the advantage of uh, the art it is able to stability plasticity dilemma this is a concept the stability it refers memorizing the learning so whatever that is learned it is able to memorize remember and the plasticity it is nothing but to flexible to learn the new information so mostly it is highly helpful for uh, the pattern recognition because of this particular the aspect that is plasticity the art is able to learn the new input patterns without forgetting the past that is what i i mentioned so because of this particular reason the art is highly helpful in uh, cognitive data as well as uh, the information the processing like uh, the pattern recognition so art neural networks the feedback mechanism it is um, used it is included the classification of art network so mainly we can uh, divide into uh, two types one is um, supervised and another is uh, unsupervised in supervised we have uh, the versions like uh, art1 art2 the fuzzy art and then uh, the simplified art similarly under the unsupervised art we have this uh, art map gaussian art map simplified art map and uh, fuzzy art map so let us see the basic uh, structure of architecture of um, the art1 mainly it consists of um, two layers that is f1 and f2 especially you can see that it is divided into that is two part f1 itself we have uh, f1a and f1b this f1 layer it is uh, mainly that is uh, for the purpose of processing the input whatever the input uh, the pattern that is received that is uh, processed uh, in the layer that is uh, f1 so it is divided into two part so one is uh, we have this input portion and another is for uh, the interface portion then this uh, layer that is f2 it is uh, it is the recognition field the f1 is uh, whereas f1 is the comparison field but uh, f2 is a recognition field which consists of uh, the different clustering unit so whatever the input uh, we received and these inputs are compared with um, this uh, clusters and uh, if we get the correct best match that uh, particular input will be that is uh, connected with the the particular output pattern or the cluster included in the particular cluster so otherwise what will happen this particular module will be that is a uh, perform its action that is reset module so which acts as a control mechanism only this uh, reset module verify checks whether uh, this uh, im that is whatever the input that is uh, generated patterns that will be matched with the clusters if it is not matched so what will happen that will be the re it will reset the inputs and uh, again will try with the the next pattern there are uh, four uh, phases of processing in art first step is uh, initialization in which we'll have uh, the two control parameters that is c1 and c2 are used to control the data flow through this uh, input layers whenever an input is present in the comparison layer 
the value of uh, the first control parameter that c1 is equal to 1 if the node in the recognition layer is active then this uh, c1 is equal to 0 similarly the c2 enables the layer by a value 1 and disable by the value 0 other parameters like uh, the feed forward weights can be calculated with the help of uh, the formula 1 by 1 plus n where this n represent number of nodes other feedback weights are initialized as uh, binary value 1 the second phase is uh, recognition phase the input vector it is compared with the classification presented at every node in the output layer the output of the neuron is equal to 1 if we have the best match with the classification applied otherwise it becomes 0 the third phase is comparison the comparison of input vector to the comparison layer vector it is done in this uh, phase so in this phase we will use another module it's called the reset module which uh, test the similarity between the input and the comparison vectors the result value must be greater than the vigilance parameter the vigilance parameter it is rho indicated its value between 0 and 1 then the classification is complete otherwise we will go to the step, step number uh, 4 that is the fourth phase search phase the best match is calculated in comparison step if there is no node that is having the same pattern as that the input layer then start the process with creation of the new pattern by considering the latest input vector which is uh, presented in the comparison layer so repeat the process until the pattern is fully recognized so the process will be get repeated until we are getting the correct pattern this can be given in the form of uh, the number of uh, steps this is steps of uh, the algorithm step number one we are initializing the network so in which uh, we will initialize uh, the values w t initialized and similarly the vigilance parameter rho it is also initialized the rho value between 0 and 1 step number two apply the new inputs computes the matching that is mu i is equal to summation of w i j of t x i select the best match mu j is equal to the maximum of this mu j so calculate all this um, the outputs you, you mean uh, the matches and we have to select the the best one that is uh, the maximum value check whether the match corresponds to the nodes in the recognition layer if yes go to step number six so step number six adopt best match and repeat the process so otherwise we have to go to that is uh, step number two by applying what is that new inputs we have to apply the new inputs i hope in this video we have discussed uh, what is uh, this adaptive resonance theory art and uh, we have seen uh, the different classification of art and also we discussed uh, the different phases and um, the various steps of uh, this algorithm i hope you understood keep watching thank you